Wir stehen draußen, es ist relativ frisch, aber Josh und Noah sind noch ganz warm, denn sie haben gerade hier gespielt, Animal Collective. So what was it like to play here in this huge tent at the Rolling Stone Weekender? It was good. It was fun. I uh, I don't take into into my view too much what's going on in the crowd, just because it kind of freaks me out when I'm playing. But uh, seemed like people were into it. We had a really good time on stage. Well, I think this is most important, right? I mean, if the chemistry and the atmosphere is good on stage, was it special tonight somehow, or was it just a regular gig for you? Uh, I mean, I, both. I feel like we try really hard to make every show feel special for us. I feel like that's one of our kind of goals to just feel like we're always actually really enjoying what we're doing. Um, and I think tonight, yeah, we all felt pretty like in the pocket, as we would say. So it was fun for us. What would you say, how much really in percentage is spontaneously what you're doing on stage and how much is planned? I mean, is it 99% everything's planned out and the rest is for fun or? For, for these for this set, it's probably like 95% planned. Yeah. yeah. Maybe 90, something like that. <laughs> sure. It's mostly, mostly planned. Yeah. yeah, it's it's just basically like kind of the, the ins and outs of songs. We kind of like leave a lot of space for us to kind of have fun with those moments. But once the songs each kind of like kick in, we pretty much like more or less know what we're going to do pretty much most of the time. Have you heard anything about the concept of this festival here on this weekend that really people come here, stay in apartments, so it's a different festival, nobody's camping in tents, but a little bit older people are also coming here. Can you feel that there's a different atmosphere here than in, to other festivals? Yeah, it felt a little less energetic. <clears throat> felt yeah. like people were kind of just watching, which is cool too, I don't mean to hate on that, but yeah. it was a little different than, than some other festivals we, we've played yeah. recently. Which ones did you play which really sticked out this, this year when you were around? Well, the only one I can think of is the, the Pitchfork Paris one. Yeah. Okay. And that seemed like kind of a more homogenous, younger crowd okay. and a little bit more rowdy. But <laughs> The vibe of this festival is really similar to like the, the UK ATP festivals, yeah. and just in terms of the layout. But the energy is a little different. I feel like those festivals, like you kind of pointed out, like, are generally a lot of like younger, younger people. And I can sort of see what you're saying. This is sort of more like a, like a middle-aged crowd. You know, which is like a, a different vibe for sure. But the, the, the overall layout and kind of like the movement or everything is similar to that ATP thing. Well, and the British people are even more into partying than the German ones kicking back, taking it easy. <laughs> it depends. Yeah, it depends. <laughs> We've had some doozy shows in the UK too. Yeah, yeah okay. Different countries like to, like to drink different amounts. So will, will you have the chance to also watch the, some other bands as well uh, tonight here? Yeah, I yeah. think we're going to try to get something to eat real quick and then maybe we'll check out some other stuff.